Oh yeah, all right, Natasha from Connecticut, you absolutely nailed it with the size nine. Thanks for sending these in. You're not gonna believe where these are headed. So that is right, everyone. Those shoes, hold on, let me get these other ones out. More shoes arrived, and uh, those shoes that I just mailed out, they are going to the Philippines. Absolutely amazing. We nailed it. This lady in the Philippines, she needs a size nine. Look at what she's been running in. That's right, Natasha. Thank you again for stepping up to the plate to help this lady out in the Philippines. Absolutely amazing. And yes, <laughs> two, more bo <laughs> two more boxes today. One from Washington and one from Washington. Oh my goodness, two, two more boxes from Washington. Thank you, we'll be giving these away sooner rather than later. All right, I'm back at the grass soccer fields here. Gonna go on a nice soft surface once again, and then I'll get you the update on my foot here in a little bit. All right. Go get my jog on. Oh man, storms arriving right now. The clouds just rolled in. Definitely the hottest day of the year in Denver. And yes, I am gonna take out the Terry Kiger Fives today, but before that, I'm gonna walk barefoot here in the grass for probably about five to 10 minutes, uh, borrowing from my brother's advice and just experience. My brother has really uh, been able to stay pretty healthy and one of his tips is like walk around your house barefoot. And oh man, when I'm at high volume, like 70 plus, my legs and my feet do get a little tired. And therefore I often opt to walk around my house in the Hoka recovery slider sandals. But I'm telling you, I really do like, look at the, you know, the East Africans, the kids, like a lot of them running around barefoot their entire childhood and you know, even into their teenage years. And so I'm just curious about like, can I strengthen my feet, make them so strong, so resilient by simply doing little things like different, like walking barefoot. And now our house doesn't have carpet, we have hardwood floors. So that kind of makes it a little more, uh, a little more of a task if, if, uh, if you will. But anyway, I'm gonna start here on the grass field, five to 10 minutes, just walk. And there you have it, five minutes of walking around. Da, 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 da. So uh, it, remember we talked about yesterday, you can run for an hour a day, right? But it's the other 23 hours in the day that really can help set you apart as far as staying healthy, as far as recovery, so that you can come back even stronger the next day and the next day. So anyway, I'm gonna go run right now, but it's those little things like walking around for five minutes on grass, and I'll probably do a little bit more after the run as well, the jog. Uh, so, let's All right, everybody, darn. Uh, cut the run short. I didn't even have a chance to pull out the GoPro today. The only thing in the world that I don't really mess with when it comes to the weather is lightning. I just have had some scary experiences. I have some very traumatic actually experiences in my life with lightning. So it's the only thing I don't, I don't mess with. So anyway, <laughs> I cut the run short, just short of three miles, but hey, we're just coming back. It's all good and it's better to uh, live to see another day in my humble opinion. It's not even like hitting the ground yet. It's just up in the clouds, the lightning, but I just, uh-uh, it's not part of my playbook. And we're back. All right, didn't get hit by lightning. That's a good thing. Just like live to see another day. All right, um, 
I am aspiring to eat healthier. So here's a salad, pre-made salad from True Love. I'm going to eat it right now. And it, yeah, I think it does connect to the foot injury and uh, just aspiring like a salad a day keeps the doctors away. I've heard that saying before. So anyway, I don't know about you, but in the summertime, it's always a little easier to eat salad. So that's what we're doing now. All right, here we go. raspberry glaze from Trader Joe's. Don't mind if I do. Oh man, has anyone else tried this? It's my first time, but True Love uh, swears by it. So here we go. Ah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know about you, but I literally feel better after eating a really solid salad, especially if it has spinach in it. Am I crazy? Like maybe it's all mental to me, but anyway, I feel better. So, <clears throat> okay, because the run was cut short, because of the lightning, which of course in Colorado, it passes very quickly. It's like looking pretty nice outside right now. But because of that, I have a little more time to focus in on some foot strengthening work that I just got to stay on top of no matter what moving forward. All right, come on. This is one of my favorite ways to use the foot log. Just like, I'll get a zoomed out shot here in a second, but you're just kind of in a crouched position, hands on the ground, just rolling back slow as possible. Slow as possible. Just loosening it up. Just got to work the foot. You know, <clears throat> I don't necessarily know how much one should work the foot as far as I minute like exact minutes but uh i think you know i think at the end of the day you got you're just listening you're listening to your feet listening to what they need all right whenever there are two boxes that show up at the p.o box i can't resist i have to open up one i always save one for the actual running shoe giveaway so it's live and it's uh exciting but whenever two arrive at the same time i gotta open so here we go all right what is it gonna be and these will be uh mid-July that we'll be giving these away unless there's a special note if you do send shoes and it's a special note saying hey I got a pair for a high schooler or I've got a pair for a young professional size 8 I want them to go specifically to a lady or a guy let me know in a note in the box and I will do my best to accommodate but all right look at this oh man ultra in the house ultra here we are oh oh <laughs> super psych not ultra Okay, oh, but there's a sticker. Look at that. It's a Newton. Okay, I feel a little, um, I don't want to say ashamed. This is probably the first Newton I've held in my hand since college. Newton is based out of Boulder, Colorado. So they, when I was in college, they were there getting started. And wow, okay, size 12. So shout a Bigfoot, a Newton, the Boko AT3. These will be for the next running shoe giveaway. Thank you again to the gentleman in Washington who sent these. That's amazing. All right, here we go. Update on my foot. I'm going to put the foot in the good category. And remember I said like seven days ago, we're not out of the woods yet. Even though, yes, I did run seven miles yesterday, basically pain-free. And when I say basically, um, my foot is tight. So whenever I'm telling True Love like an update on how the run went that day, I'm describing the foot as just being tight. And the last time I was in a boot was 10 years ago when I was in college, like when I was 22, 23. So as I get a little older, I think the, the you know, it just takes a little bit longer, I've heard, as you age to recover from injuries. So anyway, I'm just staying patient, being, pa being careful. And uh, so I'm still putting the foot in the good category just because it's tight. And that is why inside in my living room, I'm just working it. Just I just got to massage and stretch, massage and stretch, stay as loose. And not just if I can attempt, not just once a day, but even a little bit in the morning. You know, when you have plantar fasciitis, it hurts the most in the morning and you want to do your best to loosen it up. So I've got to remember, in fact, I'm going to go inside and make some notes and post them around the house. Like, okay, just take five minutes to massage and stretch in the morning when everything is tight after waking up 
in the morning. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. Keyword is going to be lightning. I know, lightning. It was just, uh, and I know, like, you, we just got to be careful. And the question of the day, actually, I'm going to go down that road. Um, when was the last time you had to call a run because of lightning or just crazy? And I mean, okay, and I mean a run where you're like, you're out there and then you hear tornado warnings going off or there's like a there's a storm surge coming or i don't know some sort of crazy situation uh when was the last time because i think it's good to learn from each other's experiences to remind ourselves like with there, you can't mess with the weather sometimes the weather has the upper hand all right that is it for today seek beauty work hard and love each other you guys are the best thank you so much for sending these newtons that is so cool we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big filming day, so I gotta get to bed early. That's why we're just keeping this uh, nice and simple out here in the studio. See you tomorrow.